Hello everyone. In the previous tutorial, we have seen how to insert a rows into the table. Now we will see how to insert multiple rows at a time. And the syntax for that is insert into table name. We, sh we should define the table name values and using the column uh, comma between all the all these uh, values and ending with the semicolon. We can enter multiple rows. So let uh, let's understand that with the example. Insert uh, into student. Let's say the values are student with a. We have entered up to five. Let's say now six. Six. Uh, let the name be Kalyan. And date of birth nineteen ninety eight. Uh, And the age is uh, 23. And next, the group is CSE. And next, uh, mobile number. Mobile number, it is uh, 93. And next, uh, the address. Let's say the address is uh, Pune. And next, so using the comma and next entering the set of uh, next row values for the set of uh, set of values for the next row and that the name of this student is Sairam and next uh, date of birth and age is uh, 21 and the group and next hmm, mobile number and at the last address let's say the address is Wazak like that uh, you can enter the multiple rows at a time now let's run this yeah it was successful let's select the student table you can see the data is entered for the student with id 6 and 7 as how we entered here the multiple rows the uh, two rows got uh, entered at a time next similarly you can enter details for the faculty table also uh, at a time so I have already uh, done with the, that so let's paste that now you can see this is how uh, we can enter multiple rows for the faculty table let's uh, run this that's it we have entered now see the you will see the details of faculty table using select you can see in the faculty table we are having values for the all the attributes there is no null in anywhere in this uh, faculty table we are having a name and date of birth age department and everything for all the rows that's how we can enter multiple rows in a uh, mysql the next tutorial we will see how to alter the table name database names and all renaming uh, columns and all that's it for this tutorial uh, thank you